So do you have any regrets at all then? Hell no. Maybe you've seen the Instagram posts or read the articles. If that was me, I feel like at that, I don't know. I feel like I would just die. I would literally just die. <laughs> that would be it. I, like, I would just die. Now here's Eddie Zarenner in her own words, talking about that moment, roughly seven miles into the California International Marathon. A moment she described online with a quote. Well-behaved women seldom make history. Why that quote? Women are powerful and we don't have to like be well-behaved and we don't have to, you know, just follow the quote unquote societal rules, even if that means, you know, shooting yourself in front of a thousand people. Besides finishing the Olympic trials injured, that was like one of the proudest finishes I've ever had, um, especially at the end of this journey and of like 2021, as hippy dippy as that sounds. There were times like, yes, I will be human and honest that I wanted to drop out. Like, you know, after kind of mile 20, I just like, I think I'd lost so much fluids and whatnot. Like I just hit the wall for the first time in a race in my life. And so it was a painful, like last 10 K. And so just knowing that I could like claw through that, which it all down my legs with the looks going on from spectators, just again, showed me that I'm stronger than I thought I had been the day prior. And also it's kind of cool if I can run a 242, you know, crap all over me hitting the wall. What am I going to do when I do feel good when I don't have that mushroom pasta? Yes, bad mushroom pasta. But I wanted to jump in with a quick note because I think it's important to point out that this moment is a small part of a bigger race and a small part of what's been a pretty remarkable running journey. I kind of have to like rewind to what, like earlier this year. I had a tibial stress fracture and uh, I was in a boot and I was on crutches and this isn't my first injury, but this was like kind of injury that really, really made me wake up. And I was just like, I have to basically stop living for others. I have to like delete my Strava. I have to stop trying to impress people and went through a whole um, just psychological and physical just kind of like transformation. We're only put on this earth for such a short amount of time. And if you're constantly, you know, worried about what other people think, you may not reach everything in this life that you want. What she wants more than anything is represent America on the world stage. She qualified for the US trials for the 2020 Olympics in her very first marathon. But just days before CIM, United States track and field announced new updated qualifying standards for 2024. It's now eight minutes faster for women. 47 seconds faster than Addie's previous personal best. If you run a 237, like 01, that doesn't count. So I think how I could convey that is when you want something so damn bad, you will do anything for it. And, and that's what running is to me. I mean, it, it is my passion and I, you know, I want to make the United States team so bad, whether it's in the Olympics or um, a world team. And so, I don't know, you hear all those stories about like super mom strength. And I guess I just had super, I don't care strength because I, I just want it. <laughs> Do you worry though that like 50 years from now, you know, your grandkids or something like that are going to Google you or, you know, Wikipedia or whatever it is 50 years from now. And like, that's going to be the first photo that comes up. Whoever knows me 50 years from now, I'm still going to be the same, you know, rebellious woman. So, no, I'm not worried. If anything, what I am worried about, Corey, is in my next marathon, say I have to poop again. And then it's just this story about me being a pooping marathon. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> Do you think runners take themselves too seriously? Yeah. Yes. So... I always say I am like the road trail runner because a few of my training partners are trail runners. Trail runners just like, don't care, you finish, here's a beer. You know, if, if any trail runner finished with like poop down their leg, it would never have been a story. Um, so I think a lot of road runners take themselves way too seriously. Um, so I would love to be able to like bridge those two even though they are the same sport, those two worlds. Um, and just at the end of the day, it's 
my, like my college coach said, like, it's just about putting one foot in front of the other. It's not that serious. What's the lesson of all of this? I've had a lot of people reach out saying, you know, they've always wanted to try running, but they've had stomach issues. Um, and I would just really encourage those people to just, to just try. Now I also asked Daddy about what her next big race will be, and she actually hasn't decided yet. But certainly she's someone you should expect to see making more news in the future. Thanks, Addy, for the interview, and thank you for watching.